LeBron James said that he loves Lowry Markkinen. Let's talk about why a trade for Lowry Markkinen is possible for the Lakers and why the Jazz should consider it. It's the Hoops Nerd Show. On the latest Mind the Game pod with J.J. Redick and LeBron James, J.J. Redick brings up Lowry Markkinen, and here's what they say. And both Clay, they, they do this one a lot, too. So, Ooh, Lowry. Lowry Markkinen. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I, one of my favorites. Love He's him. unbelievable. He's been a LeBron supporter for a long time. He's like, where's my shoes? Does he really? Yeah, until this year. I think Nike came out with a new shoe, and then they, oh, yeah, we man. got some talks to do out there in the Nike world. But I love that guy. He's He's so good. There you go. LeBron James loves Lowry Markkinen, and he makes a point to talk about Lowry Markkinen being a supporter of LeBron. Now, this offseason is interesting for both the Lakers and the Jazz. Right now, it looks like LeBron James is not opting into his contract, and the Lakers are going to have to make sure they make him happy to sign a three-year max extension. That gives the Utah Jazz leverage if they want to make a trade with the Lakers. If, if LeBron James really wants Lowry Markkinen on his team, he can go to the Lakers and say, can you make this trade happen with Utah? If you can make it happen, I'm re-signing. For Utah, why would they make this deal with LeBron James and the Lakers? Well, Utah is going to this offseason and we know that Danny Ainge has said he's going big game hunting. He's going to go look for a big time player. But what happens if the Jazz go and talk to the Bucks about Giannis or they go and talk to the Mavericks about Luka Doncic and they don't get anything to happen? They can't go into next season and end up in the 8th, ninth, 10th spot in the draft again. The Jazz have to make a decision of what they want to do as a team because they can't keep doing this thing where they're just slightly out of the play in tournament but also not getting a top pick in the draft. And so Utah has to decide are we going to re-sign Lowry Markkinen and if we don't get any big stars, we just kind of spin our wheels? Or do we trade him to the Lakers and get a haul for him? So what can the Lakers give the Utah Jazz? Well, the Lakers can give their pick this year in 2024 because it looks like the Pelicans are going to take their pick in 2025. They can also offer the Jazz the 2029 pick and the 2031 pick. They can also give two pick swaps between those years. And Utah already owns the 2027 pick from the Lakers, which is top four protection. Utah could ask them to remove the protections from that. So Utah could come out of this trade with the Lakers with the 2024 pick. They would have the 2027 pick that they already own with the protections lifted, 2029 unprotected, and 2031 unprotected with pick swaps in between. For the Lakers, this is a home run because there is no per more perfect player to play off LeBron than Lowry Markin. And he's an all-star. He is the he is an off-ball player that shoots tons of threes. He's also an incredible cutter. A great transition player and just a great character guy that will come into the Lakers and be completely additive. Lowry Markkinen is a player that can come into your team and he just makes whatever you have better. Considering the Lakers could use some offensive firepower, could you imagine them having Lowry Markkinen against the Denver Nuggets and what that would have looked like? It certainly would have helped this Lakers team out and honestly would have given them a real shot to move past the, the Denver Nuggets. The question is, do the Jazz want to do this? And do the Lakers want to do this? To me, it makes sense for both sides. The Jazz then get a chance to tank for Cooper Flagg. They can develop Keontae George and Taylor Hendricks and the players they draft in this upcoming draft. For the Lakers, they have another third piece. It can solidify things for them for the next three, four years. LeBron James will sign for three years and they are set to go for a title in the next couple seasons. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will talk to you next time.